hello from the sea on one of the all too few days this summer for sitting out on the shore. Well, it's a good place from which to tell you about this year's Orkney Science Festival program. The sea is one of the varied themes running through it. We'll hear about rich meadows of seagrass, we'll ask about sustainable seafood, we'll look back at early lifeboat design, and a clues from marine plankton on climate, past and future. We'll welcome visitors from Malaysia with stories of coral reefs and conservation. And we'll hear from Japan about uses of seaweed, including the creation of new ecosystems beneath marine energy platforms. We'll hear about the making of the Pentland Firth with scenes from Stroma. And we'll also find out the story of the Fulmers of Ein Hallow. We'll look up into the sky, too, with the story of how precious metals are forged in the stars. There'll be hints about that from gravitational waves, and indeed we'll experience music inspired by those same waves, with lighting as well, amongst water ripples in a swimming pool. We'll look back at Orkney's past. That'll include a site visit to the Ness of Brodgar just a few days after the close of the long-running excavations there. We'll have first-hand news from the director of this year's discoveries. We look back, too, at a hundred years of Maine's electricity in Orkney, and we see some amazing demonstrations of indoor lightning. We hear the story of the people who built the great post-war hydroelectric schemes. We'll look ahead to Orkney's future at the potential of crops like sea buckthorn, which thrives in poor sandy soil and with berries packed with nutrition. We'll look too at the wealth of possibilities of fruit and vegetables from a kitchen garden. And it's not only talks, activities, walks, outings, workshops. We've some beautiful exhibitions as well this year. Themes include comets, past and present, also the story and paintings of the Shackleton expedition to the Antarctic. There's images of seaweed, images of Orkney's past in earth and stone. So much to see, so much to do, so much to pack into seven days. We look forward to seeing you there.